All right, welcome back to the welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. Tiafimo Lopez calls out Devin Haney for a fight at 140 pounds in February. Let's talk about that in this video. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the lightweight division. Before I do, if you wouldn't mind, please hit the like button. If you feel like watching to the end of the vid video and hitting the like button in, I'd appreciate that as well. Also, subscribe to the channel, share the video, all that good stuff. So, good news out of the mouth of Tiafimo Lopez. He says that he wants to fight Devin Haney at 140 pounds in February. And so he said that he is going to keep his promise, the handshake deal that he had with Devin Haney. He said he's going to be a man of his word and make that fight. But it doesn't seem as if he is able to make 135 pounds. And he, what he said was that, hey, me and Devin had agreed to fight one another, but that does not mean, but we did not say the weight that I would fight him at. So that makes, that pretty much jives with what a lot of rumors were ahead of this fight with George Cambosis, which is taking place tonight, which Tiafimo Lopez should win by knockout. I wasn't going to do, I thought about doing a prediction video for the fight. And then I sat down and I was watching George Cambosis and watching him fight. And all I can think is that man, Tiafimo Lopez is going to rip that man's head off with a straight right, with, with a right hook. I mean, with a straight right. And if he slips it, he's going to hit him with that left hook. Uh, George Cambosis just head fights with it has a ton of from what I can see a ton of defensive gaps in what he's doing he's an aggressive fighter watch the fight that he had with Lee Selby and just you know <laughs> all I can say is Lee, if if Lee Selby could punch like Tiafimo Lopez can punch uh, Tiafimo uh, um, George Cambosis would have been knocked out in that fight so having watched him fight Three times over the last three years, he fought Mickey Bay in, well, I think in 2019 and 2020, he fought Lee Selby, and now he's fighting Tiafimo Lopez. There's enough inactivity and enough gaps in the in the skill set of George Cambosis, and there's enough tough guy in George Cambosis to get George Cambosis knocked out. So when Tiafimo Lopez said, look, this fight's not going to go that long, it's not. he said he thinks he can get him out of there in the first round. I'm pretty much sure what he's saying is that he's looking to see how long it's going to take for him to land that right hand on T on on George Cambosis and get him out of there. And that's kind of what I think is right. Also, but you could really see in the way in how emaciated Tiafimo Lopez looked. He did not look. I mean, he looked like he was drawn. Um, my understanding is that it took him you know, an extra amount of time to get to the way in. And at least that's what I, what George Cambosa said. And it was talking about, yeah, you're a weight drain little kid. We know that you're not, you're having difficulties making weight and all of that stuff. So, you know, with Tiafimo Lopez saying, you know, man, look, you know, we're going to have to do this at 140 pounds, but I'll make the fight. I'll take it because it should work for everybody involved. Now, I've always said that I do not, I believe that Devin Haney wants to fight these guys, that Devin Haney is saying he wants to fight. Um, the only hitch for Devin Haney is that if it's out of the 140 pound division, Devin Haney is still the 135 pound champion, but I am, I am pretty sure that the WBC would not stand in the way of that fight, considering that Tiafimo Lopez keeps his WBC championship even if he goes up to 140 pounds, at least his WBC franchise title, even if he goes to 140 pounds. So you can still build a fight as a fight with, with Tiafimo Lopez for the for maybe the franchise belt, if that's what, if um, the, the Haney's want to petition to get it if they win. But, you know, I don't see that there would be a, necessarily be a problem with, with uh, Devin Haney fighting at, fighting at 140 for one fight and being able to come back down and still be the WBC champion. That's what uh, Mikey Garcia did when Mikey Garcia was the WBC champion at, um, at 135 pounds. He moved up for a fight with Sergey Lipinets, uh, beat Sergey Lipinets uh, for the IBF 140 pound title, and then he moved back down to 135 pounds and fought uh, fought Robert Easter Jr. for the 135-pound WBC title. So there's precedent for to allow Devin Haney to do that. And I think that, the, and I'm really excited that, that Tiafimo Lopez said it because 
Like, with the way that he phrased that, there's just no way out of that. If he says he wants to take that fight in February against Devin Haney, they've got to make that fight. They've got to make that fight in February. And it didn't sound like he was playing around about it. It didn't seem like he had any, like, you know, he said, I don't have a problem doing it. He's, and, and here's another thing. At a, if he has to go to 140 pounds, that probably is a fight that makes sense that would draw a lot of numbers and be a big, be a big thing because – um, he's more than likely not going to get the, the Josh Taylor fight in in February. And I would think that Tiafimo Lopez would need some amount of time to, you know, at least a fight or two to, uh, you know, get himself accustomed to fighting at 140 pounds. And so this would be a good fight for, you know, a good fight that would build his name and all of that stuff. Now, it's also, I'm going to tell you, I also believe that it may be a better fight for Devin Haney to take place at 140 pounds because from what I've seen of Devin Haney, Devin Haney is also a bigger guy, man, and somebody that is probably not going to spend a lot of time at 135 pounds. Or let me put it this way. He can probably spend a good amount of time at 135 because Devin Haney seems to be a very disciplined guy, a very disciplined fighter. But that's his first weight class. If you've ever stand, seen him stand next to guys like Mikey Garcia, man, he's half a head taller than Matt, Mikey Garcia. Um, he's standing next to Tiafimo Lopez. He looks just as big as Tiafimo Lopez. So more than likely, he's going to be up there at 140 pounds. Floyd Mayweather Jr. also talked about Devin Haney eventually being at 140 pounds, 147 pounds, and that being one of the reasons why he didn't see uh, Devin Haney uh, fighting Gervonta Davis at 135 pounds because he believed that Devin Haney would be moving up there. So I like it a lot, man, and it'd be an opportunity for Devin Haney to really get that first big, that first big fight, an opportunity for him, you know, to really break out outside of, you know, his YouTube following and outside of his Twitter following. Because I know there's a lot of fans that are real hardcore boxing fans, young hardcore boxing fans that really do like, uh, do like and follow and believe in Devin Haney. Uh, but to fight with Tiafimo Lopez, I think would be a very, very big fight. I I'm not quite sure if it's a pay-per-view level fight whether it would be on ESPN or whether it would be on, you know, on DAZN, neither one of them really have a big, peop a real big pay-per-view mechanism, right? But if it's on ESPN, I think it'd do really big numbers on ESPN. If it does, if the fight winds up being on DAZN, I think the DAZN would be happy for it. Eddie Hearn said that he, matter of fact, that I think that's the order in which it would go. They would probably look to do it on ESPN first, but if Bob Arum wasn't willing to take the financial risk for the fight, Eddie Hearn said that he would pay for it on the zone, and so uh, and we'll see how happy they are with with Tiafimo Lopez fighting on the zone, uh, fighting on the zone tonight. But I'm just I'm happy about it, man. I'm really glad that Tiafimo Lopez said that. I had done a video uh, yesterday where I was like, if he said he's going to drop his belts and Devin Haney can have all his belts, it didn't really sound right to me. But him following up and saying no, he would fight Devin Haney at 140 pounds. He's not ducking Devin Haney. He'll be a man of his word. And he'll, you know, and he'll and he'll follow up on that. Not much more than not much more you can ask for the kids. So I'm excited about it. Anyway, you let me know what you think in the comment section. Also, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you wouldn't mind. Share the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. And with that, I'm out. Peace.